Square roots of positive whole numbers are usually irrational and require a calculator to compute accurately, but we do have a method to estimate their values. First, it's helpful to remember the numbers we do know the square roots of, the perfect squares, you know, 1, 4, 9, 16, etc. Now let's estimate the square root of some other number. Let's say 13. Well, 13 is in between two perfect squares, 9 and 16. Therefore, the square root of 13 must be in between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. But we know the square root of 9, that's 3, and the square root of 16, that's 4. Thus, the square root of 13 must be greater than 3 but less than 4. I'll guess 3.6. Let's do another example, the square root of 62. 62 is in between the perfect squares 49 and 64, which we know the square roots of, 7 and 8, respectively. So the square root of 62 must be greater than 7, but less than 8. I'll guess 7.8 or 7.9. Boom.